So we've gone over the nuts and bolts of, of Tumblr, the different ways to post, and what you can post, and all of that. So again, this, this is up to you about what are you going to share. But you've got different ideas here. You've got quotes and, and chats and audio s files and such, a little bit different than WordPress. Although you can do these sorts of similar things over on WordPress. But let's say then, okay, you're creating content. It feels a little bit more like a social network. So to take advantage of that now, okay, how do you get views? How do you get followers, likes, and all of that? Let's go to the top on the search, up on the search box over here. And I've got this fake company, Victor's Bakery. I want to find other people that would be interested in my content of a bakery. So at the top, search for a keyword or a phrase of the particular topic your business is about. So mine, let's say, San Diego Bakery. I'm going to start typing, and as I'm typing, it may be suggesting me things. It may be suggesting search a particular word. It may be suggesting these are blogs with those keywords. Whatever you see here, again, San Diego Bakery. When I got this specific, it didn't mention any blogs. That's OK. I'm just going to search for some keyword about the topic of my website. It's going to then show me, okay, Pistrino Bakery actually could be related to that. And then all of these posts, types of Italian bread. There's Heaven Sent Desserts. Uh, not very much. I got very specific here, perhaps. Let me just say... Um, San Diego restaurants. So I'm getting blogs of that topic. The point of this is that I can follow these blogs to see what they're posting, to get ideas of what they're posting. So some strat strategies here. Strategies to get views, followers. Search keywords about your site. Follow blogs about that keyword. Uh, be careful though. Just because I saw these five blogs here, I'm not going to quickly and blindly click follow, 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 follow because the point of following anyone on Tumblr or any social network is that then you want to see their stuff. You want to see their posts. So in theory, San Diego Restaurants Discovered is what I searched for, but is that really what I want to follow? Before you click follow, if you click on their icon, it will give you a preview of what they've been posting. Doesn't look like they've actually posted anything very recently here. And look at top San Diego restaurants. So some things have been posted. There's more over here. San Diego's top restaurants. So I'm not clicking follow yet until I look. There might be some about text and some posts and such. Um, so this will show you some of the more recent posts. So before I hit that follow, I would do that. I would first look at the blogs and their content. So I found one at least that seemed to be good enough, so I'll follow. I'll make the caveat here. However, check the blog to see activity and content. Uh, their blog might have shown up because of that keyword, but that not necessarily means that their blog is about that all the time. And when you follow, you will see all of that every time they post something new. So if they had happened to post something about restaurants today, but usually they're posting about technology, I might not want to follow that. So check the blog. Check what their content is. And of course, check if there's activity. If they haven't posted anything in a while, nothing shows up there the blog might have been dead. So don't waste your time following a blog that has no activity.
So the results of search are that it'll show you blogs. And it'll also show you, if you scroll down, actual blog posts of people perhaps using these keywords and such. So I'm seeing here Q the Critic is a food blog. Gavin Lind, Restaurant Review, Sense and Anti-Sense. Okay, so people are posting stuff here. Bread and see Sai, bread and Sai, bakery and cafe with a European flair. So once I see these posts, I have various things that I could do. Um, J. Rowe here posted this. And I, it has the follow button right away for me to follow. I still, I wouldn't quite follow until I click on there profile, then it'll say their biography, it'll show their recent posts, and then as I see those recent posts I can figure out, okay, they are writing about things actually that I do wish to see. It is mixed, mi a mixture of things, it's not just about cooking, so I can decide to follow or not. Let's just say for fun, I'll follow, sure, you can always unfollow. But the point of this which also applies over to Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all the social networks. Search to find people. Interact with those people, like I just showed you, like a follow. Because what that does is it creates a notification. J. Rowe got a notification that said, Victor's Bakery followed you. Up on his or her actions up here, activity, it says Victor's Bakery followed you the person would see that. Worst case scenario, they see it, they move on. Best case scenario, they see it and they interact with you. They could follow you back. They could read your article. They could click your link. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. And here, if I'm following, so sense and anti-sense, I would of course click to see what are they have they posted recently? Is it something I really want to follow? So I am seeing food-related posts, uh, except for that woman and her owl, and so forth. So let's say, okay, it's food stuff, so I'll follow. Sense and Antisense got a notification. Victor's Bakery followed you. I may get a follow back, I may not. If I don't get one, that's okay. There's plenty more uh, of other fish in the Tumblr sea. So. I, um, my tactic here, follow blogs about that keyword, check the blog to see their activity first. In the search results, interact with posts. Giving a follow is one of the highest levels of interaction. say here, levels of interaction on social media. And this applies on Tumblr because it's a mixture of social media network and blog. WordPress.com has this aspect as well. We didn't really go into it, but you should explore it because what we're going to talk about here also applies over on WordPress.com. But you have a like. Do you see that as you, as you see the content here? There's a heart. Don't miss these five hole-in-the-wall spots in San Diego. So I read that, I followed the link, great. I'll click the, the little heart here, like, it animates, really cute. So that's the lowest level of interaction. It's not the worst, it's just the lowest. The worst is nothing. You don't do anything. So let's say that's one level, I like. Now the point of that was, yes, I liked it, but the higher point to that is uh, Marina in and sweets got a notification that said Victor's Bakery liked your post. Then they could just ignore it and move on or they can check out my profile and I've shared some stuff and they could like my stuff. Oftentimes I get what I give in social media you get what you give. Not always exactly in the same proportion. 
you might give 10 likes today, that doesn't mean you're going to get 10 likes back. You may get 9, you may get 7, you may get 2. But that's still one of your endeavors that you need to engage in. The next level up, um, depending on the way that they have posted, you can also leave a reply. So let's say this lunch is added here. This says one note. So it just tells you a little bit about it. Some of these have a spot for you to, to reply. So if there's the ability to, to reply, you can. I, I see that a little less on Tumblr than other networks, though, actual replies. Um, but the next level up is a reply. If it's got the ability, I can click reply, I can add my own comment, and then again, the original poster sees that reply they, they find out I exist, they can come to my blog and reply to my stuff. Traffic, views. The next level up is this right here, the, the reblog or the share, or on Twitter they would call it a retweet. Basically I'm taking their post and I'm sort of copying and pasting it and sharing it from my account to my followers. And it will have the original content and attribution and such it will say it will say that I've reblogged this I've shared this from purple darts so it comes with original built-in information of who first shared it I can then add to it myself my text here my tags here my own content I can further add my own picture here and reblog it that's the next level, reblog. That's that I liked something so much on Tumblr, I want more people to see it. The highest level is a follow. You like the stuff so much, you want to see it all the time as soon as something is new. So you follow the account. So I would say this is the sequence Although you can make a case that reply and reblog could be switched or on the same level. But definitely like is the lowest and follow is the highest. In the middle there could be some debate about this, but let's say this, this right here. I'm not saying you need to do all of these things to everything that you come across. Any one of those things is a step to your own goals, which is to get more readers, to get more followers, to get sales, whatever any one of these. This is a higher level. If you follow, you might get a follow back. But you're not going to get follow backs unless you have content. So you're going to post these blogs. You're not going to do, like I said over with WordPress, 100 words once a month. That's not going to cut it on, on Tumblr. I need to say for Tumblr, one new thing every week. So that's very, very broad. One new thing every week. A text a picture, a link, a 100-word article, a 20-word article, whatever, but something new every week for Tumblr is much more viable. And really, I would be taking advantage of that queue. Put 10 things into that queue and let it auto-post for you 10 days in a row. Um, a lot of work, of course, but Tumblr it's a different sort of character. It always goes back to the content, however. Because as I give these things, in theory, I can get these things. I, uh, I, I get what I give. I'm going to give likes because I want likes. I'm going to give reblogs because I want reblogs. I'm going to give follows because I want follows.
one way for you to see if this will if this will work better is keep an eye out on what's being shared and keep an eye out for for when it says a, a statistic meaning uh, like this has nine notes if I click that it'll tell you okay well Q the critic posted this uh, this account reblogged it this account liked it this account reblogged it so this is getting some activity this is to guide you about what should you be active with because you could give likes to everything that you see here and some of those will result in some reciprocity that you can stack the odds in your favor by seeing what's popular get on the bandwagon of what's popular to help you build your popularity and I'll say here I'm saying in the search results interact with posts so you like or reply or uh, reblog or follow and you'll get the same look at popular posts and use them to your advantage look at look for popular posts and use them to your advantage so that means check the number of notes more notes more good so if something has more notes that you want to get on that bandwagon you want to check there's a lot of people that have been interacting here so I will also interact I will reblog it I will like it I will get attention because then this particular author is is active <clears throat> is posting good stuff that that uh, that gets results and then I will further say um, research those that have interacted what I mean here is I'm looking at these nine notes world-class burger blog San Diego photos blog oak and iron Justin Ander 916 these people interacted with that post these are clickable these are active links. These are people on Tumblr. I'm going to click on San Diego Photo Blog. And it shows me here San Diego Photos, blissful boats and beaches. And I'm seeing these posts. I'm seeing content. These people were active and cared enough about. Uh, a particular topic that I'm interested in to be active with that topic. These are potential people I want to interact with. Again, I could look at what they've posted and click that like, or the reblog, or the comment, or the follow. And notice I can also message these when when it pops open here if they've allowed the ability to message I can send a message to them this is a topic that I go into much more detail in the social media class but this is part of the job of a social media marketer I've got this content that I want more people to see it's not just that people are going to magically find it, although to some degree, if you use the right keywords and such, it does work that way. You have to be active. You have to build an audience, like the way I'm talking about here. Search keywords, give interactions to get interactions, dig deeper. Don't just look at the top level of results. Look at who is being active with people that are being active. So sort of, in a sense, friends of friends, get into that deeper level. And right here, McGinnis Photo. So uh, 
That's the idea on this. Let's see, I'm looking for cookies. Oreo has a tumbler. I see all of these. So I can I can interact at this top level. This one's got 173 notes. Seems to be active. So I'll click like on that one. Maybe I will reblog this one, add my own spin to it here, because they just posted a picture. So I could use it again. The reason I'm doing this is also to get inspiration. So I could say our version of these decadent cookies is easy to do. And then a link over to our own um, recipe. Reblog that. So I'm using someone else's content to further my own content. I'm taking this one that has worked for someone. 145 notes. It's worked for someone. It could have worked for me. This is perfectly fine and legitimate. They've, this is the, the nature of, of Tumblr. You, you have to be careful, though, that you're not completely you know, relying on other people's content for your own. You don't want to be disingenuous and say, look at what we made. Buy it now. But it's someone else's. Nutella cherry cookies sounds amazing. So let me rip it off. I mean, let me share it. So this stuff can be can be really spread out all over the place because it looks like the original poster was the girl who ate everything. And then who last posted it was Kawaii Food is Kawaii. And now I'm going to share it. So that was a good thing that they did there. The original creator added their own watermark. You could put in your own web address. And then as your picture goes out through the rest of Tumblr, it'll still have that branding and possibly get traffic back to your main site. So this that we're doing can also be applied over on WordPress. If you explore the, the reader view on WordPress.com, you'll have something like this too. Different WordPress sites you can search, find people's content, like their content, reply to it, build attention and awareness of yourself, and uh, you can get traffic over on WordPress in a similar way, but this is the aspect of marketing, which is very important nowadays. It's not just that you create some interesting thing, something valuable, you have to market it, you have to make people aware of it. That's why I highly recommend, if you've got the time for it, when the social media class comes around, take it. We talk about these things in more detail. We go into detail about how to use Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc. 
because it's a marketing avenue. In the real world, I've got a restaurant or I've got that bakery on Main Street. No one's going to know about it, uh, or very few people will know about it via word of mouth. If no one knows my restaurant exists, no one's going to come to it. If someone walks by it, okay, they come in, they like it. Maybe they'll tell their friends and family. Okay, well, that's not enough. So I need to have someone on the street corner with a sign, flipping around a sign to say, here's the restaurant. Okay, that's going to help somewhat. I'm going to then create flyers, put those flyers on people's windshields. That's going to help. I'm going to put out a radio ad, a newspaper ad, TV ad. I'm going to try these, these ads. Marketing. That's the real world version of social media marketing. I'm going to get on Twitter and tweet. I'm going to get on Instagram and post these photos. I'm going to use Tumblr and share animations. I'm going to use all this social media to market my website, my blog, my business, my product, my brand, whatever, for a much more affordable thing than paying that person. Is the minimum wage $15 yet? They're getting $15 to flip that sign around, in theory. So here, you're going to be doing it via, for free, in, so, in social media, uh, the biggest investment is your time, and you know, they say time is money, but you have a way to reach an audience. Any questions so far on these concepts of Tumblr? Well, I think it's almost time for dessert, don't you? Okay, well, um, if you go back to your uh, account at the top right under settings, remember you can create multiple accounts. You can delete this, deactivate it with some within settings. But I would recommend use it for a bit, see how you like it, or stick with WordPress, or do both. And remember what you can do back on WordPress.com if you go to the settings of your WordPress. There's a spot in there under Settings Publicize, so that when you post to WordPress, it automatically goes to Tumblr. And remember, from Tumblr, you've got a setting that when you share to Tumblr, you can also have that shared to Facebook and Twitter. Now be careful, because if you activate this on WordPress and Tumblr, and then share from WordPress to Tumblr, it would possibly share double to Twitter and to Facebook. Because from WordPress, you can share to, to Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr. And from Tumblr, you can share to Facebook and Twitter. Notice you, from here, it doesn't share back to WordPress, though. So here's a way for you to use both networks. And then you can decide which is, which is right for you. But the big secret is you want to use this regularly. You want to start off, you want to use it, share something once a week, once a month, whatever. You want to be active with it. And you want it to be fun and interesting for you. You don't just uh, want to do it a little bit and forget all about it because you'll see that you get results the more you use it, the more you engage in the market. So I'm going to shift gears uh, away from Tumblr for a moment. Any final questions?